It is not safe for pregnant women, nursing mothers, and children less of four years of age. Antibody responses to the seasonal influenza vaccine manufactured by Vornavitis were lower in the geriatric population than younger sus subjects. Warnings and precautions. That's in the glossary. Section 5 through 5. Point four, adverse reactions, 6.1 through 6.3. Drug interaction, 7.1 through 7.2. You need to go read this for yourself. Warnings and precautions. Altered immunocompetence can mess up your immune system. 5.1. And it goes on and on, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get into the other news, but if you don't go and read this for yourself where it admits it can cause an autoimmune disorder, that it can sterilize you or reduce your fertility, it can do both, that it can give you fatigue, asthma, facial edema. This is saying, it goes, ladies and gentlemen, this is like 50 pages long here. I, I can't read all this here on air. It just goes on and on and on the nightmare that this can cause, okay? Now, when you see CNN and Fox and the New York Times, newspapers, TV, telling you it doesn't have mercury, telling you it's a conspiracy theory, and local radio was doing this to me this morning. I'm not even going to say their names and give them attention. They're saying I'm a liar. This is how America operates today. They think you're idiots. They think you're fools. They think it's cute to pull all this on everyone. Here's another report with links to the Denver News Channel, Associated Press, and the actual government and university studies. Headline, Doctors Concerned Flu Miss Vaccine Could Spread Live H1N1 Virus. Last hour, I had Dallas County Department of Health and Human Services Office of Public Information, Zachary Thomas, Director of the Health Department for Dallas County on, and he admitted that the nasal can breed the H1N1, can hurt you, can make you sick, and can really hurt people that are already sick. So this is all there. He also admitted that the regular flu shot they're starting to give, the, 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 the normal injectable H1N1 has all these serious effects that you should read it and that they have you sign a waiver form when you take it. There's no denial about this. Here's another one. Normal flu jabs double the risk of catching swine bug, the mail, newspaper. It's also in the Toronto Star. The findings from Canada led to some states in the country de delaying seasonal flu jab campaigns amid, amid fears the recipients could be more vulnerable to seasonal surge of the pandemic. Continuing here. It goes on and on and on. Reports confirming that there are a lot less cases of H1N1 compared to the regular seasonal flu at this time of year and that it's not that dangerous of a virus. And most people dying are dying from complications of diabetes, heart disease, cancer, the list goes on and on, or extremely elderly. Meanwhile, President Obama doesn't care. He has declared his civil emergency so they can give an un tested, unproven, this is untested, they admit, experimental, highly dangerous H1N1 nasal and injectable flu vaccines. We're getting reports all over the country of school teachers, children, doctors, medical workers, uh, Dallas, uh, Washington Redskins cheerleader, said Dallas Cowboys for some reason, uh, getting paralyzed from it. And the doctors said to her, and we played the news clips here, that yes, the flu vaccine did this. And the Food and Drug Administration said, that's okay, that's an acceptable loss to have that. Here's a headline that breaks it all down. Deaths from swine flu vaccine reported in Europe. Now, all of that said, we need to take action on this situation and we had an earlier caller who talked about how he went out with simple flyers there's a lot of great sites that have the basic boil downs fluscam.com natural news infowars.com prisonplanet.com we have the basic fact sheets the real fact sheets with links to government reports and their own admissions 
because they cover their butt. In the fine print, it says it can sterilize you, kill you, give you cancer, give you autoimmune diseases, kill you deader than a hammer, give you the flu, make you more than double susceptible to the regular flu. Or to H1N1. We just went over that. But to the public, they hand out in public schools fake sheets saying, oh, we're getting rid of the rumors. There's no mercury. It can't make you sick. We have a responsibility to stand up against this fraud and to speak out against this fraud and to say no to this fraud and to print up your own fact sheets off of documents you read and see or go get the other fact sheets that are out there and to put them on telephone poles to go and give them to friends and family, to go and, and paper your entire neighborhood, go and put them on people's front door steps. That's your right under the First Amendment. Don't let anybody tell you you don't have that right. They've been running newscasts trying to demonize our listeners, putting up fact sheets about flu all over the country, especially up in Temple. They've had three news reports I've seen without even looking with TV attacking the folks that are putting these up. Carry a video camera. If you don't know how... To put something up on YouTube, a 10-year-old child can figure it out now. It's very simple. Use YouTube. It's the biggest. It's the battleground. They have more video views every day than all of their video sites and file sharing combined. Video it. Upload police coming over saying, in America, you can't stand off the public school or city hall or sports stadium parking lot where they're doing the mass inoculations. When the police come over say, my First Amendment right officer, please don't violate my First Amendment. If they get in your face, I would recommend you go ahead and leave. You go upload it to YouTube. You email it to the police chief. You go a day later and file a complaint and file a lawsuit for them violating your First Amendment. If you don't leave, they will taser you, belly club you, and maybe even kill you. They're on power trips. They've been taught they're God. They've been taught there's no First Amendment. Even though you're trying to save them and their lives, most police... If someone above them in authority, like a city official, tells them, get those people off the sidewalk out there. And when you submit, first they'll push you to the sidewalk. Then they'll push you across the street. Then when people come over to get your literature, they'll push you off of that. Remember two years ago, in one of the major counties in Baltimore, Maryland, was it Prince George County, we had... One of the state attorneys on, who was on CNN saying, everyone must take the shot, it's the law. Over 2,000 children and their parents showed up at the courthouse. They were police dogs. This is on CNN. Riot police. We've had guests on who were there. The police told them, you can't even stand off the property giving people flyers or talking to them. They would use police dogs to threaten them. This was on the news. We want even more depth here on air. And when I had him on, I said, do you vaccinate your children? He laughed and said, no. He had school-aged children. And I said, it's not the law to take the shot. He goes, no, inside the courthouse on one table, we did have the waiver file, the waiver sheets. But then I talked to people that were there. They never told them about it, never told them they were on a table. And there were people on the news, predominantly black, crying, saying, I don't trust the shot, but they told me I'm going to be arrested if I don't take this. That, ladies and gentlemen, is criminal and un-American and wrong. And this is a test to see if we'll put up with this. Now, separate from that, I've seen story after story after story after story. I, I, I lost count, but I know it's more than 20, probably 30 or 40. I see so many of these, I don't even cover them most of the time when, it, when a new one comes across my desk the last six months with all this fear-mongering. Where they tell. Parents that know we didn't inject your child or we didn't give them a flu mist or we didn't give them a vaccine. The seasonal shot or now the H1N1. And then it even makes it in the newspaper that, oh, there's a controversy. The school says the children are lying, even though they'll have whole groups of children saying it in elementary, middle school and high school. Here is a news piece out of right here in the United States where this indeed did happen and the school admits it, but says they screwed up. No, they're lining your children up without your authorization and doing this to them. And that's what the executive order states. So they're testing to see what they can get away with. Here it is.